My wife and I is using Bixby Jet for two-day trip to Mendocino Coast, and it functioned as well as I expected, and both my wife and I were very happy with its performance. However, there are several improvements I think Bixby can make uh, more user-friendly. I purchased my Bixby Jet from Electric Search Bush and they've been very responsive and I would highly recommend them. And one of the hardest thing to use on this thing is the trying to make all this connection. You know, one goes here, you know, that's really hard to put in. And I wasn't too impressed with how it's latching in. This is a whole big Mirage drive system. So I was afraid if I hit a rock or any kelp, I could potentially lose that, that I made a little Save the leash system in case it pops out, you know, lose the connection. I know that connection they tried to make a waterproof, they tried a uh, choice are limited, but I think they can make it maybe they can come out with a better design or plan anything in there which is likely to using out in the ocean. It's just not going to go in, and you cannot lock that in. And I had a hard time that I decided to carry one of these uh, uh, dust off to clean off the connectors in case I get any uh, debris in there or sand likely. And it's a small rack and I carry the battery charger and here's a remote with the safety leash with the magnet to turn on the battery pack on and off. So I try to carry everything in this box. If I make this disconnection, it will fit in here perfectly. And I think it's just one of the boxes I had, I don't know. We use this uh, on our hobby Oasis tandem kayak. And my wife been complaining about knee pains on the longer, I guess, uh, fishing trips. Sometimes we go like, you know, 10, 15 miles, with well as I expected, and it had enough power, adequate power, that I it's almost as uh, she's paddling on a Hobi Mirage 180 system. That, that, that's what I want, you know. And reason I decided to do this way instead, of, you know, there's so, several other you can attach rudder. But I want to have flexibility not using this at all by the choice. So uh, she, she decided not to carry her paddle. That's why we've been using this primarily for her use. Then I have a normal paddle, which has a reverse direction and stuff like that. When I first attach this, put this into the first, put this into the Mirage drive system. You have to put this in an angle, otherwise, it will not fit in. And also, when it latched in, it has too much give. This thing was rotating back and forth like 10 degree. And if you still remember, cosine of a 10 degree only gives a 90% of capacity. That's why I decided to make a little uh, build up with epoxy and some pipe, half inch pipe. I cut it, I attach a half inch pipe to epoxy, plumbers epoxy, two-part epoxy, and it'll, you know, I use on the two-day trip, it lasted, and make sure she inserted this thing correctly, I put a little arrow in front of it, that we don't make a mistake, and try to slam this in, as I shown, you know, others, you have to put this in angle, and put it in, then now, it's not moving at hardly at all, but then I have to connect this to the battery, that's the, you know, second improvement I made, by building up this cassette to make sure it's not rotating back and forth too much. I think they modeled this thing after the uh, Mirage drive insert, which is kind of just keep water away. It's not mechanical function. That's why I think it wasn't designed too tightly. If you look at normal Mirage drive, you know, it fits in tightly that way. It's not moving around when you're using foot pedal. So they, I think they can make this design a little bit better to keep you know fit in there properly and it's not rotating around as you I was just trying to show you around if it rotates 10 degree 
which want to give you only 90% of thrust based on my calculation. And I don't want to mount it to the back of a seat, then it'll be too high, and I don't want to have such a high center of gravity. That's why I try to decide to put a build a little bungee. The way I do it, I insert this thing in. I mean, I resume our little connected battery. That way, bunch keeps it in. Also, also I uh, mount this clip. That way, it would not come in. And mirage just so it's uh, as you can see underneath my seat. You know, as soon as you raise up the seat, you got plenty of room to able to put things in then you'll put your safety line there to able to connect it or disengage as you need it so I feel like uh, I like to keep the battery inside but there's no easier way to do that or you can then uh, you lose this uh, safety option if you fall overboard able to disengage the power to shut off the motor that's why right. I think this is a low spot and least obstructive location to put your battery underneath the seat so I bought that bungee from the Amazon I think for two for twelve dollars and the uh, way I attach the line bungee is by a zip tie and I use a GoPro leash line attachment that I bought a bunch from eBay I think you can buy how I tie that in I use a, I glue that into the kayak and use a zip tie to tie this uh, bungee net and I have a clip attached the back side and just clip it in and in case a bungee doesn't work at least I'm not going to lose the battery out into the ocean which is about I think this battery costs about $500 and I heard it's a floatable, but I'm not going to give it. It's a Bixby jet. Hopefully, it'll, it'll last a long time. And actually.